So this week's video is going to be a little bit different because in a few minutes I have to go do what nobody in the world wants to do and that's go to the dentist office. And not only do I have to go to the dentist office, I have to go for a root canal. And if you do a quick search about do root canals hurt on the internet, you come up with a bunch of videos that say no they don't. But if you look deeper, you realize they're all made by dentists. These two dudes have really nice teeth by the way. The point being, I am terrified. And I'm also running a little bit late. It's not the needle I'm afraid of, it's not the pain, it's not the procedure itself. It's the whole thing. It's sitting in the chair, I can't move, they're all up in my face. What I hate the most is just the total lack of control of the situation. I think part of my issue is I'm just a little bit angry as well. I spent my entire life taking what I thought was pretty good care of my teeth. I almost always brush my teeth at least three times a day. In fact, I'm a little bit neurotic about it. And to prove my point, I'm three months away from my 41st birthday. I've made it all this time not even having a single cavity. So to go from no cavities in 40 years to going straight to root canal? And like I said, with all those videos on the internet saying that it doesn't hurt, but they're being done by dentists. But when you tell somebody you know that you're about to have a root canal, they hold their mouth and they cringe. Somebody is not telling the truth here. And something tells me I'm about to find out. Okay, so I just got back in the car. I'm done. The whole thing took about 30 minutes. It actually wasn't that bad at all. So my fears were a little unwarranted. I definitely feel like I'm having some trouble talking right now. So I'm going to finish this when the nummy medicine wears off back at the house. Okay, it's been 24 hours and I can honestly say my fears were completely unwarranted. There was no pain, my swelling is completely gone, which is a good thing because for a while there it looked like I had just met Will Smith at the Oscars after telling a Jada Pinkett joke. What do you mean I shouldn't put that in the video? I'm not the one who slapped somebody. Before I go on, I realize that my experience at the dentist is going to be different than your experience at the dentist, which is going to be different than your neighbor's experience at the dentist. I can say it went pretty well. The first thing the dentist did when I sat in the chair was to use some kind of topical anesthetic so I wouldn't feel the needle of the numbing medicine going in. I didn't ask him specifically, but I suspect he used Bupivacaine, which I have in a bottle right here. Most people are familiar with lidocaine because it's just a term used more often for numbing medicine. Lidocaine is just as good, but the problem is it doesn't last as long. And since I was numb for about eight hours, I suspect he used this. And for reference, in case you're having something similar done, it was my tooth number three that had the severe cavity, which is in the upper right part of your mouth. The dentist let the topical anesthetic sit for about five minutes, and then after that, when he was directly injecting around the tooth, I really didn't feel anything. The entire procedure after I was completely numbed up took about 30 minutes, so if I can give you one piece of advice, is before you get started, put an AirPod or some kind of listening device into your ears. It will make everything go so much better. So if I brush my teeth three times a day and I've been doing that for 40 years, why did I get a cavity to begin with? Well, it turns out I don't floss nearly as much as I should be. At my first visit with the dentist and they took pictures of the inside of my mouth, and this is somewhat embarrassing to show, you can clearly see between the teeth, which is exactly the purpose of what the floss is for, was quite dirty. And when I saw that picture, I was kind of grossed out. So that's the take home point of all of this. One is to know that having a root canal isn't as painful as some of the perceptions in the community, although it's pretty painful on the wallet. And two, I would strongly encourage you and especially your kids to get in the habit of flossing if you want to avoid this sort of calamity for them in their future. So again, this week's video is a little bit different. Next week, we're getting back to some form of normalcy as I will be reviewing a telescope that we just purchased because there are some really cool things that will be visible in the night sky over the next few months. So you'll definitely wanna check that out to see how this turns out. So have a great day, everybody. Don't forget to floss and we'll see you next week.